Hey people! So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, uh, one of a few that has been requested, and that was to do a uh, makeup look that was simple, quick, and easy. And I thought that I would show you guys what I tend to do with my makeup before work every morning. Um, I get up at 5.30 <laughs> to go to work, and um, I don't really care about anything at 5 30 in the morning <laughs> but uh for at least for my job you do need to look professional and uh put together i want to try filming this video w in real time without fast uh pacing anything or cutting you uh to the next thing i kind of i'm actually kind of curious myself how long it takes me what's also going to be different about this video is i'm not going to hold up the products every time uh before i use them i want it to be like i'm actually getting ready for work so I'll do my best to talk about what I'm doing and what I'm using as I'm doing it. But I will also have everything that I use listed down in the description box below as normal. So if you want to see my 5.30 a.m. makeup routine before work, just keep watching. So first I'm going to prime. My skin is normal and I'm using the Veil Hourglass uh, mineral primer and I've already used my skincare and in the mornings I use uh, vitamin C and just a very light moisturizer since my skin is so oily and the next thing I use is my Tarte CC under eye corrector and um, I'm gonna put this under my eyes, cover up those dark circles, which is a, my dark circles have been really bad lately. Like, I don't think what I'm doing is helping as much as normal. Like my eyes have been really puffy and I haven't slept too well. And of course I put this on the brown spots on my forehead as well, which are getting worse because I'm not wearing sunscreen on my head like normal. Not normal. Like I should. I'm not using it like I should. And I just used way more of this than I think I wanted to. <laughs> um. If you have never been to my channel before, I use this under eye corrector for brown spots as well. The same in color just cancels out the browns, the blues, and the purples. And next I'm going to put on my concealer. Um, not, I don't put on any foundation. I do this concealer all over my face as you've also seen me do if you've already been to my channel before. This is something that I actually ended up doing one morning. I had a really early meeting that I had to set up for at work and I had to be at work at like 6 or 6.15 and I mean there's, there's important people there you gotta look good. And I'm taking my damp beauty blender, my damp real technique sponge to pat all this in, by the way. Um, but so it's like, need to look nice, need to look presentable, need to look professional. But I also do not want to get up at freaking 4.30 in the morning to get hair and makeup done. And so it was the first time I tried just putting this um, concealer all over my face like I've done now and it was just so much <sighs> of course I won't ring my doorbell because I'm trying to do this real time I mean like why wouldn't you ring my doorbell what I'm trying to do uh, I don't care who it is 
Um. Anyway, I have no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> Just got distracted. Sorry guys, I gotta go figure out who that is. So I have people calling me and texting me and ringing my doorbell and no one ever talks to me. So I will have had to escape through that. <laughs> that won't be real time. Sorry guys. But I wasn't doing any makeup. So I didn't skip any makeup steps. Um, so... Oh yeah, so I started this um, technique with just the concealer for that one morning and I really just, I liked how it made my skin look because it gives you really good coverage without being thick or cakey, at least uh, this Makeup Forever concealer that I use does. I liked the finish and it was just so fast. It was so fast. And fast is good because I want to sleep in as long as possible and still look like a human being when I get to work. So now I'm just taking my RCMA translucent powder and I am pushing that into the skin. Uh, as I normally do. And my beauty blender is damp. Next, I am going to take my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and set my under eyes. I really like this stuff. Um, my sister-in-law found that elf stuff for me at her tar at the Target that her and my brother shop at, so I got another thing of it. Um, but. Uh, now I've been using this and uh, I, I really like it. So I'm just taking my concealer brush and um, getting the creasing out of my eyelids from the concealer that I put on there. And so the only thing that I do for my eyes, if, um, this is just a normal work day is I take my bronzer and I'm using that Tarte Amazonian clay bronzer in Park Avenue. Sorry, um, I don't know when that cut off, but uh, I'm still doing the same thing. Just buffing that in lightly. And then I put on my mascara and I am still using the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Um, and I put a good coat of this on my upper lashes. Ugh. I don't, um, when I'm putting mascara on and I don't have any eyeshadow on, the bottom, I tend to skip putting the mascara on my bottom lashes because at the end of the day or during the day, at least on me, and that could just be because I'm oily, um, it transfers to my skin on my under eyes and I don't like that. And I'm like having to go in the bathroom and wipe it off throughout the day so um, it'll still happen a little bit 
this way too, but not as bad. So. And then I take my Marc Jacobs highliner and I just tight line the top lash line to help that lash line look a little thicker. Um, you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. I just like to do that. Okay. Next I'm going on to the brows and I'm using that L'Oreal brow sculptor pencil thing in light brunette and filling in my brows. When I'm doing this look, because I don't have any eye makeup on, I want to give my eyebrows a good shape, but I don't want them to look thick and heavy, which they would if I, if I did my brows like I do when I have all my eye makeup on, it'll look too heavy. And I still honestly still do it like, um, heck, cause I'm talking, I might do it right now, but if you can avoid it, I think it's a little more, um, complimentary to not make your eyebrows super bold if they are not super bold naturally. And mine are not super bold naturally. I'm still trying to grow some. I have a very bad habit of ripping out my eyebrow hairs. When I'm worrying or obsessing, I'll like pull out the hairs that don't feel right. And that leave, that doesn't help me with my sparse patchy eyebrow situation. But welcome. To obsessive behavior. If you already have nice shapely eyebrows, this is obviously a step that you can not do. Um, I wish I didn't have to do it. And um, I don't know if you can see, but I just went a little too far under and over. And so when you do that, Q-tips are your best friend, because Q-tips are your best friend in the makeup world. Anyway. All right, so now I'm going to bronze my face. And I'm using that same, sorry, I'm using that same bronzer. And I'm using this giant brush right now because I normally use that um, smaller Morphe or that Kat Von D brush, but I ain't trying to do some super, I don't want to say contouring, but I'm trying to get shit done quick. <laughs> so uh, don't put bronzer all over your face. But this brush, at least on my face, covered a lot of area that I need covered very quickly. As opposed to using that tiny one where you are essentially giving yourself a light contour. And here I just want there to be light to my, not light, life to my face. Because it's early and I'm not a morning person and <sighs> this is the best. And I just go and I kind of put it where I want it. And I probably go a little more on bronzer when I don't have a whole lot else going on on my face. 
because you kind of can because you don't have a bunch of other stuff going on on your face. And so I'm now going to use my angle brush and put on some blush. A lot of people don't do this. They just stick with the bronzer. Um, you can totally do that. I don't just because I feel like I need all the help I can get with adding color to my face. And of course, of course my dogs are barking. Of course. But, um, I don't do anything super heavy color-wise on the blush or the amount. Because that would look weird too if you don't have a whole lot else going on on your face. So after I've done that, I do highlighter and I'm using that Fenty Beauty highlighter. And what's cool this, it, I probably put on a little more, I, not probably, I definitely put on a lot more highlighter than normal when I'm doing this look because you can't, like it's not as long as you're using the right highlighter for your skin tone, I guess it's not too much. Like you can kind of go ham on the highlighter because that's the only like blingy thing you have going on. And I use that highlighter underneath my brow bone just to lift my brows. And I put it in my inner corners to highlight my inner corners is very, very important, <laughs> even more important in a look like this than probably full makeup looks because you can see more of my darkness when I don't have as much on my eyes. And it just helps to waken up your eyes. And then you can, so this one is got that light lighter or more subtle highlighter, like the first one I put on. And so I like to just tap that on my lids as well. It's just a very subtle, subtle thing. And then my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and set my eyebrows. And then I do spray my face with my Urban Decay setting spray. talking like a moron while I'm spraying that it does not taste good and then I still fan my face this is a little one that my husband got for me real quick at Walmart and I guess it was like 75 cents maybe it was 25 cents I still would really like to get those fans that I got from Amazon because of course they're a little stronger and bigger so that they dry your face like way quicker all right people so this is the finished look I did go and change my clothes into work attire so you could kind of see how you know um, you, you still dress I still I still dress professional before I go to work uh, unless it's Fridays then I'll wear jeans but um, I just kind of wanted it to tie into how just because there isn't a crap ton of glam on my face um, it you can still you know make yourself look very pre presentable very um, professional and uh, not take 45 minutes to do it I did go offline and um, actually brush and uh, curl my hair a little bit because if I have enough time I will do that I hope that you enjoyed this video and you can take something from it for your everyday morning routine if you have to be to work early and you're like me and you really 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 like your sleep and you are not a morning person uh, and that's how you know that this was not made at 5 30 in the morning because I don't care who you are I don't want to talk to you before 12 
I just don't. <laughs> it's just the way I am. But anyway, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.